नमस्ते आई राजेश राजपरा वेलकम यू ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल ई एजुकेटर अवर टॉपिक इज टाइप्स ऑफ रॉक इग्नियस रॉक सरिमेंट्री रॉक एंड मेटामॉर्फिक रॉक स्टैंडर्ड नाइन सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंस लेसन नंबर फोर्टीन सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव अ डिस्कस्ड वीडियो नंबर वन एंड वीडियो नंबर टू वी हैव अ डिस्कस फिजियोग्राफिक डिविजन ऑफ इंडिया फाइव मेजर फिजियोग्राफिक डिविजन ऑफ इंडिया विच वी हैव अ डिस्कस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज दैट फाइव मेजर मेजर फिजियोग्राफिक डिविजन नॉर्दन माउंटेन रीजन ग्रेट नॉर्दन प्लेन कोस्टल प्लेन डेकन प्लेटोज एंड आरसी पी लगोज दैट वी हैव अ डिस्कस इफ यू नॉट सीन दोज वीडियोज प्लीज ओपन द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ द चैनल्स वेर यू कैन फाइंड स्टैंडर्ड नाइन सोशल साइंस वेर यू कैन फाइंड द ओल द वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन एंड अदर्स वीडियोज ऑफ अ स्टैंडर्ड नाइन सोशल साइंस सब्सक्राइब द चैनल्स फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोज सो क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल्स सो यू कैन गेट द डेली अपडेट्स ऑफ वीडियोज ले स्टार्ट द वीडियो वॉट इज रॉक A composite matter made of one or more minerals is called a rock. So the uh, matters which made up of minerals, one at least one or more than one minerals may have in that matters. That matter is known as a rock. Rock can be hard as well as a soft. These are the characteristic of a rock. So it can be hard or as it can be soft also. Another they can be a porous or non porous like this way one of that it is a one of a porous and this rock is a non porous so they can be a porous in the porous it may have the hole air air can be passed through this a rock there air and water there so they can be a porous or they can be a non porous and can be light or it can be heavy in a weight various types of rocks are formed due to the different process though we know that a different process we will study in that video lectures about a different process so various process are there uh, to form the different types of a rock so various types of rocks are formed because of a different types of a process okay so types of a rocks look okay, here so various types of rocks are formed due to different process there are the different process which are there the rocks can be divided into three categories on the basis of their formation which one one is known as igneous second number stratified rock otherwise it also known as a sedimentary rock and third one it's a metamorphic rock so these are the three major categories of a rock which available on the earth so this igneous rock stratified otherwise sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock look at the word origin of uh, that igneous it is a latin word and ignis in the latin means fire the rock which uh, originate from the fire that known as igneous and the sedimentary the uh, that originate from the latin word uh, sedimentum the latin word sedimentum mean settle down the rock which a uh, form because of settle down of a sediment that known as a sedimentary rock third number metamorphic the word which originated from the greek language greek word that metamorphose so meaning of a metamorphose means change of a form the rock which a uh, form because of a changing of their a uh, uh, basic form that known as a metamorphic rock so we will study in detail let's a uh, let's look the details about those uh, three rock look at the first number igneous agne that igneous rock how it form we already discussed in lesson number 13 that the uh, upper most layer of earth is the crust then uh, second layer is a mantle and innermost layer that known as a that okay that three la layer we have a three layer third number layer is a that core that the inner core and outer core crust upper layer mantle and core so the intense heat in the interior of the earth is responsible we know that interior part of earth it's made of magmas molten rock which 
available in Trepal. Look at here. These are the um, lava which is uh, available, magma which is available in the part of uh, earth. So our earth crust is floating on earth on the this uh, lava on this magma that we have discussed in lesson number 13. So if you have not seen that videos, please uh, see that lesson 13 videos uh, formation of earth and those videos which we have uh, in the playlist lesson number 9 sorry uh, standard 9 in the playlist. So the intense heat which is present into the part of earth and which is, uh, which is responsible for the formation of a rock. The so interior of the earth remains very hot due to this heat and interior part of earth it remains hot. Why it remains hot? The reason behind it that the magma is present interior part of earth. So semi-liquid state, these are the semi-liquid state, look at this, semi-liquid like a tooth, uh, toothpaste kind of a toothpaste, just a toothpaste I see here, that kind of a semi-liquid kind of a paste, semi-liquid states are available, uh, interior part of our, which called as a magma, these are the magma, you can see in the photographs, so the magma, which is a, uh, one of a matters, matter which is a molten rock, you can call it a molten, pigla hua pathara balls, called a magma, which is uh, interior part of our, which is available in the interior part of earth in the mental the mental area that waha par aata hai so eventually when this magma cool down rockar forms eventually means the when uh, this magma come upwards come on the earth upwards like uh, uh, with the volcanic activities you can see here the magma chambers magma chambers the crust and a mantle okay so when uh, because of a uh, plaque tectonic activities and uh, some of the earthquake it may happen the volcanic rise there so when the volcanic eruption do that that uh, magma come on the earth surface the lavas that so sometime that uh, uh, magma may cool down interior part of uh, earth that magma that magma chambers when you come up once it may cool down interior part of uh, earth and it solidified there, it solidify in interior part of the earth, that kind of when the, uh, when it solidified it transfer into rock, it transfer into rock, so that known as a in, intrude, uh, that's known as a intrusive rock and when magma come on the parts of the earth surface and solidify on the earth crust. When you solidify an earth crust, that known as a extrusive igneous rock. It's for your information that two types of igneous rock, intrusive and extrusive. Intrusive means inside of a earth crust and extrusive means on the earth surface, on the earth crust. When the magma is solidified, so uh, when it solidifies, means it is cold. ठंडा होने के बाद वो धीरे-धीरे पत्थर में ट्रांसफर हो लोके दिस ये जो आपको लाल कलर दिखाई दे रहा है वो धीरे-धीरे धीरे इस तरह हो जाता है ठंडा होने लगता है वो जैसे ही ठंडा हो जाता है और आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम इट ट्रांसफर इनटू द रॉक एंड द रॉक इज नोन एज अ इग्नियस रॉक सो इवेंचुअली व्हेन इट मैग्मा कूल डाउनस रॉक आर फॉर्मड सो दीस रॉक्स आर फॉर्म ड्यू टू दिस इफेक्ट्स ऑफ अ हीट rock are formed one of the reason behind is that because of a uh, heat which is present interior part of earth hence these are called the igneous because that rock which form because of a heat because of heat that it's uh, known as a igneous another agne rock it form from the magmas so it is a primary rock also you can see here the volcanic eruption when it cool downs like that way so it form it transfer into the different types of a rock so the in the formation of the crust of the earth these rocks were formed earliest so earth crust so when the earth crust was formed so that kinds of a rock which kind of a igneous types of a rocks which formed earliest means ये सबसे पहले फॉर्म हुए वैसे रॉक है सबसे पहले जो फॉर्मेशन जो रॉक का हुआ कौन से टाइप का रॉक था इग्नियस रॉक का रॉक हुआ एट मेनी प्लेसेस वेयर वी फाइंड दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ इग्नियस रॉक्स राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश एंड सदर्न पेनिनसुलास मीन डेक्कन प्लेटो सदर्न पेनिनसुलर रीजन डेक्कन प्लेटो इन इंडिया सच रॉक्स आर 
फॉर्म सच रॉक्स आर अवेलेबल देयर इन द राजस्थान मध्य प्रदेश इन डेक्कन प्लेटो सदर्न पेनिन्शुलर इंडिया सो इग्नियस रॉक्स आर मोस्ट सॉलिड ऑफ ऑल द रॉक्स सो इफ वी कंपेयर द कैटेगरी ऑफ सेडिमेंट्री एंड मेटामॉर्फिक ये दोनों से ज्यादा ये सॉलिड है बहुत ही सख्त होता है सो इग्नियस रॉक्स आर मोस्ट सॉलिड ऑफ ऑल द रॉक्स ग्रेनाइट is a well known example of plutonic rock granite is one of a example of a igneous rock igneous rock another basalt is another uh, types of a uh, rock these are the uh, volcanic eruption uh, rock so these are also called a primary rock this which rocks are called as a primary rock igneous rock is called as a primary rock because these rocks were formed earliest sabse pehle bane hue the so these are the rocks which known as a primary rocks next one is a stratified rocks or sedimentary rocks we discuss that after the solidification of lava when lava solidify when lava when lava cools down jab ye thanda ho jata hai tab dheere dheere jo uh, iska jo matter hota hai jo thanda ho jata hai then it transfer into the rock that igneous rock that is also known as a primary rock so in lava se banta hai that when lava cools down it transfer into the rock stratified rocks or sedimentary rocks now the second form of a rocks that is a stratified uh, otherwise it also known as a sedimentary rock so different layers are formed here there are the different layers sediment you can see here it create there okay so these are the rocks roll down once like we have discussed the primary rocks was created was which were the primary the primary igneous rock already igneous rocks available now there were the uh, uh, slowly and gradually th these rocks crack rocks uh, develop the cracks ye jo rocks hota hai uske andar crack develop hoti hai so it develops a crack which these are types of rocks like they develop the cracks and roll down slowly and gradually the sediments of the rocks they roll down and uh, hit each other and are broken down to small fragment and these a uh, small particles are called sediments uh, so a uh, small particles so the fragment like uh, lo look at that like a rock suppose this is a rock so rocks are uh, roll down on the uh, mountain and on the earth surface it develops the cracks cracks are develop in the rock slowly and gradually the rock transfer into the different uh, segment different sediment different fragment so these are the different fragments which known as a, a different uh, sediments different type uh, the rocks which develop the cracks and develop the sediments okay so these sediments are transferred and transported and deposited by wind water so these are sediment which are the sediment sediments of a rocks the particles of a rock which transported which carried by wind and water so wind and water which carried that a small particles of rocks and it deposit somewhere else so wind and waters these are the means it uh, carried out the particles that sediments uh, uh, that are fragments of rocks that carried by the winds and waters and deposit somewhere else so the broken rock material is con constantly deposited in water and then form a layer so look in look at here so constantly you can see here the small and large particles of rock a lens that eroded by that uh, uh, air otherwise uh, waters it carried out and slowly and gradually settled down on the uh, uh, earth crust on the earth surface and it creates a different layers you can see here there are the different layers are created look at so that create a different layer slowly and gradually uh, one of down and uske upar uske upar uske upar aise layer layer ka formation hota rehta hai okay you can see here another one like that way sedimentary rocks different layers are created okay because of settle down of those materials depositions which was settled down there so these are the particles the rock particle rock fragments that slowly and gradually uh, settled out it takes a long period of a time 
to form the this kind of a sedimentary rock sandstone otherwise stratified rocks so the rock material is deposited into different layers slowly and gradually it settle down there because of it that the create a different layer in the part of a earth so the upper layer experts so exerts pressures on the layers on the underlying rocks which were formed initially and laying there like one layer is formed first here like look at here so one of a layer which formed here you can see here the dotted layers so after that sometimes uske upar dusra layer hoga after uske upar dusra layer hoga uske upar dusra so heat and pressure were exerted from the upper layer upar wala jo layer hai द दूसरे नीचे वाला लेयर के ऊपर एक्सर्ट करेगा प्रेशर करेगा बिकॉज ऑफ दैट प्रेशर दैट लेयर दैट सेडिमेंट ट्रांसफर इन टू द रॉक्स सो दिस इवेंचुअली द रॉक्स आर फॉर्म बिकॉज ऑफ अ डिफरेंट लेयर्स एंड द हीट एंड प्रेशर ऑन द अर्थ क्रस्ट दैट कंप्रेस्ड एंड इट ट्रांसफर इन टू द डिफरेंट लेयर लाइक वन ऑफ अ लेयर्स इसके ऊपर दूसरा और स्लोली एंड ग्रेजुअली ये ट्रांसफर होकर एक कंपोजिट एक रॉक बन जाता है okay then so these are called stratified rock these are called as sedimentary rocks slowly and gradually it uh, solidify the layers that uh, uh, these are the sediments it solidify again it join together because of a heat and pressure of that uh, layers and it transfer into the sedimentary rock and these are also known as a sedimentary rocks so for the example sandstone is made from the grain, grains of a sand like a sandstone generally you can see the background that is a sandstone so a, a sandstone is made from a, a grains of a sands these are the sandstone is made from the particles of a sands and these rocks may also contain fossils fossils in the previous we have discussed the fossil means something or remains of a plants or animals dead animals or plants jo pehle bahut samay pehle jo mar gaye the uski dead body hai jo uske remains uska jo paya jata hai kuch bhi particle these are the known as a remains the fossils of plants and animals and other microorganisms that once lived on a are there once they lived on them maybe when it settled down it may be find that uh, fish or that uh, fossils may be available there so plants that fossils are found microorganisms whatever the uh, living creatures was there it found in the sedimentary rock so this a uh, fossil cannot be available in a igneous igneous rock ke andar ye fossils aapko nahi dikhai denge so it example are the like a gypsums limestone and the coal are the example of a, a layers that are stratified rock sedimentary rock coal and gypsums are obtained from the bihar and jharkhand states we get those uh, uh, types of rocks from the coal and the gypsums bihar and jharkhand another now third types of a rocks that is a metamorphic rock so first second and that third one is a metamorphic how it form there so in certain peculiar condition certain conditions there it form composition and other characteristic rocks are totally changed so certain uh, certain kind of a condition was there so peculiar uh, kind of a conditions so the rocks which transform which change their compositions which change their characteristics it may possible that igneous rock may be transfer into the metamorphic because of a heat and other thing it sedimentary can transfer into metamorphic so that characteristic of a rock sedimentary jo rock hai wo uski characteristic sedimentary mein se metamorphic transfer ho jata hai or maybe वन ऑफ इग्नियस में से वो दूसरे उसकी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक मेटामोर्फिक में हो जाती है सो ड्यू टू द कम्बाइंड एफेक्ट्स ऑफ अ टू फैक्टर्स हाई टेम्परेचर्स एंड प्रेशर्स ऑफ अ रॉक स्ट्रेटा सो ओके लुके रियर लाव सम ऑफ द हीट इज अ इंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ अ अर्थ ऑन द अर्थ सर्फेस क्रस्ट इज प्रोवाइडिंग अ प्रेशर्स ऑन द अर्थ सर्फेस सो समहाउ द रॉक्स विच आर अवेलेबल इंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ अर्थ इट मे बी अग्नियस इट मे बी अ सेडिमेंट्री रॉक सेडिमेंट्री और इग्नियस सॉरी इग्नियस रॉक भी हो सकती है कंटिन्यूस प्रेशर ऑफ अर्थ सरफेस एंड इंटीरियर पार्ट ऑफ 
uh, heat there uh, earth's heats which available interior part of slowly and gradually that pressures and heat pressures and heat that uh, rock igneous rock and sedimentary rock they change the characteristic and it transfer into metamorphic rock the characteristic of a uh, sandstone characteristic of a uh, uh, stratified rock and igneous rock it changed and become as a one of a metamorphic rock so that igneous and sedimentary rock changed into the totally new form and these newly formed rocks are known as a metamorphic rock so there is newly formed rock newly formed rock means when the igneous rock they change the characteristic it transfer into the metamorphic for some time that is said uh, sedimentary rocks may transfer into the metamorphic like have some of the example like marbles and quartzites available in rajasthan are the best examples of a metamorphic rock uh, metamorphic rocks now the rock cycle we have understood those things how rocks are formed like a uh, interior part of earth magma is available when magma come on the earth surface it may be in the interior part of earth it may solidify in the interior part of earth it may solidify on the earth surface and it no, created as a igneous rock which rock is formed that form the igneous rock now after the formation of a igneous rock that uh, essence of a denudations and essence of denudation like a essence of erosions like a water and air continuous blowing of a winds and air and water they erode the igneous that that uh, cracks are develop in the rocks and it transfer into the different sediments a different sediment may transport that now these sediments which are that these sediments these sediments composites again uh, uh, heat and pressure uh, pressure hone ki wajah se it transfer into the sedimentary rock now continuous heat and pressure on the sedimentary rocks it transfer into metamorphic rock now continuous heat and process continuous heat and process that metamorphic rock again because of a high heat that a rock again transfer into magma means the rock which again transfer into the molten form that become as a magma from the magma again igneous rock igneous to sedimentary rock and sedimentary to uh, sorry uh, sed uh, sediments to sedimentary sediment to metamorphic okay so it may have that magma direct igneous to sedimentary it may possible that uh, igneous rock may say direct metamorphic rock transfer ho sakte hai a sedimentary na bhi bane aur a igneous se direct metamorphic mein transfer ho sakte hai so it may possible the igneous to metamorphic rock uh, igneous se direct metamorphic another way that igneous to sedimentary rock and again it may sedimentary to direct uh, agar magma mein bhi ho transfer ho sakta hai so is metamorphic rock na bhi bane so these are the basic a rock cycle you can also see another diagram here in the more look at here uh, the rock igneous rock that sediments different particles are there and it that particles joins together combine that become a sedimentary rock and after that become a metamorphic again that metamorphic rock become a magma and it become a again magma which one on come on the earth surface and again so it's a one of a rock cycle it continues there magma and igneous sedimentary and metamorphic sediments particles of a rock and transfer there okay understood everyone rock cycle thank you please subscribe my youtube channel for more interesting and more informative videos share with your friend forward with your friends click on subscribe buttons to subscribe the channels okay and if you have any queries and doubts regarding that videos this topic types of a rock you can send me the comments video ke niche jaiye wahan par comments box hai send the comments send your reviews regarding the Uh, videos आप वहां जाकर कमेंट्स कर सकते हो सो इफ यू नोट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब चैनल्स सी द प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ द चैनल्स एंड ओके 
you can also see that uh, video descriptions i have a given a link for the previous videos and i have a given a link of uh, that uh, gsab textbook you can also download from there thank you jai hind